In this video, I tell you five reasons why I think the DJI Mini 2 is a perfect, well-rounded drone. Stick around. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So I've been flying drones for a couple years now, started with the Spark, moved up to some of the newer Mavic series. And today I actually wanted to talk to you guys about five reasons why I love flying my Mini 2 over my Mavic Air 2 in most scenarios. Hopefully answer some questions that you have if you're on the fence about buying your first drone or which one you should buy. Hopefully I can point you in the right direction. So getting started with the first one is just simplified controls and the DJI Fly application. DJI has done a fantastic job about taking out some of the guesswork and making sure that you beginner flyers get up and flying in no time. So you'll need to sign in and uh, you'll need to sign up and then sign in with a DJI Fly account. And then once you've got signed in, it's gonna have a bunch of prompts and a bunch of tutorials that you can kind of watch and follow along in order to get up and flying. Now you still want to make sure that you're in an area that's got some open space to kind of give you some room to fly around. But again, DJI has done a fantastic job about taking out the guesswork and getting you beginning flyers up and running. The next thing is, is camera quality. The Mini 1 had a 2.7K camera with a 40 megabit rate uh, camera system on it. They've taken that to the next level, threw in the 4K camera, but they've also upgraded it to a 100 megabit rate, which is gonna result in much cleaner, less muddier looking footage. Now, as far as photos are concerned, it does still have the same 12 megapixel camera that we saw in the Mini 1, but with the Mini 2, they added the addition of raw files. And if you've done any type of photography, you'll know that editing raw files gives you a little bit more flexibility in post-production. Now, the next thing on this thing that I love is the signal reliability. We saw them bring over the OcuSync 2.0 tech from the Mavic Air 2, they slapped it in the Mini 2, and has given us far better uh, signal reliability. Now, I don't think I need to go into great detail as to why having a solid connection to the drone is a very important thing, especially for beginners, but the Mini 2 has it and it's fantastic. I've been able to fly this thing a couple miles in a single direction, no interference issues. I've been able to fly indoors. I've had a much faster GPS lock than I did with the Mini 1. So all around a great experience when it comes to a signal reliability. Now the next thing is the weight limit. Now we also saw the same sub 249 gram limit on the Mini 1. But the reason I'm talking about this on the Mini 2 is because again, we have that same restriction or that same weight limit, but with a much better camera. Now, as long as you're in the US, you do not have to register it technically with the FAA as long as you're under that 249 gram limit. Now you'll still want to, of course, check all of your local laws, make sure that you're in compliance. So this kind of goes hand in hand with the weight. It's uh, very compact and if you are a creator like myself and we're always kind of looking at ways to slim down the amount of hardware that we have to use, if we can get a shot that we don't have to have all this extra hardware, we're going to try to do that. And that's the same thing with this drone is it takes up a relatively small compartment in your bag, but still gives you awesome 4K footage and a perspective that you don't have to sacrifice a ton of room for. So in addition to all of that, I hope some of these were able to answer some of your questions. Like I said, if you're on the fence about buying your first drone, hopefully I've kind of pointed you in the right direction. But in addition to those, I would also highly recommend if you can to purchase the Fly More Combo. That comes with a couple extra batteries, comes with some more accessories, things like that. And if you were to buy all of that stuff individually, you're going to go well over the extra $100 that you would spend with the Fly More Combo. So there is my list for you. If you're certainly in the market to get either a new drone or add one to your lineup, definitely take a look at the DJI Mini 2. Like I said, it's a perfect, well-rounded beginner drone. Also, when you can, get yourself some like ND filters or some accessories, play around with the shutter speeds and various angles. Just have fun with it because there's no limits to creativity. And right now is a perfect time for anybody that is looking to get into drones to do so and experience a perspective like never before. Anyways, that is going to wrap it up for this week's video. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you liked the video. You got something out of it. If you did, be sure to like, share, and of course, subscribe. Help our channel grow. I will post the links for the drone and the ND filters that I use down in the video description. Thanks for what you guys do, and we will see you on the next one. Peace. <gasps> Try it again. Peace.